Well, a very warm welcome to tonight's Spy Rights Quiz. Nick here. Hope you're well. And we're on air, just a little bit ahead of schedule. I think it's better to be early than late, so we'll wait for everybody to sign in. We'll get underway at around 10 minutes past 8, so around about 15 minutes away. And you can see the pin code there, 5122. And then don't forget to tap the screen to make sure you're registered for tonight's quiz. No particular theme tonight, part of course, and the fact that it's all to do with the Spyrites. So if you've not played before, welcome along. This is something we do every Wednesday night, or well, we have been doing during the lockdown period. Following the latest announcement from Boris and the government about the lockdown gradually easing. Not sure how long we'll be continuing, but as long as people want it and people perhaps still housebound, then we're happy to continue. I'm grateful, as always, to Phil Tooley for providing the questions. We have 20 multiple choice questions once again. Got a couple of um, slightly different format ones, videos that you have to look at the clues on the screen. So we'll uh, show those to you. I think only the second time we've done that, we showcased that last week. Got an automatic start now, so the timer will go as soon as we go on to those particular questions. So don't wait until right until the end you'll miss out on some valuable points so you put in your answer as soon as you're confident of uh, which particular player we're referring to uh, because as always the quicker you answer the more points you stand to gain so if you haven't played before how it works is the generally 40 seconds per question I've added a little bit longer for those two questions that have uh, a few different clues just to allow for uh, the time but generally 40 seconds the timer goes down and the points go down at the same time so uh, if you do answer quickly you stand to gain more points but don't jump the gun if you go before the timer it won't be registered so make sure that your answer has registered you can press the keypad as many times as you want you can't actually change your answer so your Answer is final. Can't change it, but you can press as many times as you want. But you should see a message coming up saying that uh, your answer has been logged. And up for grabs tonight, we have a £10 voucher for use in the Club Superstore. No news yet about when that will be open for real. At the moment, we're just doing a click and collect service. So if you order online, go on to the online store, you can place an order and then collect from a point in the car park, which is on the west stand side, the Vanyard west stand side. So as you drive in to the car park, take a left and you will see by the west five entrance on the Vanyard west stand side you'll see a table located there and you can collect but that's for online orders only you can't actually make a purchase from there or bring something back to exchange or for a refund that's just for a click and collect service if you place something online place an order online and then collect and the next day because it will vary so keep an eye on the club website and social media channels the next day is tomorrow that's from 11 a.m to 1 p.m there will be the click and collect service in operation we'll announce about next week's days if you just joined us welcome and put in that pin code 51 treble 2 it's on the screen and then tap your keypad screen to make sure that you are registered so we're just over 10 minutes away from starting in tonight's quiz. So 
So I shall return shortly, give people plenty of time to register. So we're around about 10 minutes away from kickoff in tonight's Spy Riots quiz and the numbers approaching the three figure mark currently on 81 so we should soon hit hopefully three figures and the pin code there on the screen shows 51 treble 2 and importantly you need to tap the screen once you've put your pin code in Along, of course, with your name as you'd like it to appear on the screen. So, last week's winner was Eintracht Pilsley. And I think previously going under different names, including uh, Dukla Pilsley. So, will Eintracht Pilsley appear again tonight? Or will it be a different name, a different European club connotation? Who knows, we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll soon work out who Mr. Pilsley is, by the names when we look at those. But the pin code there, 51 treble 2. Then tap the screen once you've inputted your number. It is, it's of course a, a different pin code every time, so if you've played before, then don't use the existing pin code because that won't work. You need to put in that new number, 51 treble 2. And then tap the screen. So on my screen it's showing we're on the verge of hitting the three figure mark and there we are. 100 up. So that's great to see. I'll return shortly, let people sign in 51 treble 2 and then tap the screen.
Nick back again, and welcome to the Spyrites quiz. We're around about, or just over five minutes away from kickoff. 122, it's showing now on my screen. Don't always get a chance to take a look, unfortunately, at the messages on their YouTube channel when we're playing. Difficult, really, to try and uh, host the quiz and then keep an eye out, but when I do have a break, I do try and take a look, and I've just seen a message from Angela asking if there's any news on the away kit. And the answer is not yet. Um, I think we're still awaiting delivery, or I've, I've not been told otherwise. The home kit is in stock. That can be ordered online if you go on our online store and then pick up through the click and collect service but no news yet on the away kit Ashley Carson uh, has not informed me about the uh, away kit but uh, he has been doing regular updates as I'm sure you've seen on the website so no doubt he will cover that in his next update if he doesn't mention that I'll remind him and ask him if we can slip a line in ab about that to keep people up to date on the progress of the away kit delivery. So we're around about five minutes away from kickoff. Pin code there, 5132. And don't forget to tap the screen. Once you've put that number in, if you've not played before, it's against the clock. So generally 40 seconds. We've got a couple of questions that are just over 40 seconds long tonight, but generally 40 seconds got a five second delay approximately over the internet so don't leave it until the last five seconds or so because uh, that time will have been and gone I'm afraid if you uh, see the clock going down to five seconds and less then the time will have gone so we've had number of different winners. Phil has uh, included the names on the as a roll of honour on the YouTube comments section. Worth having a look at the comments on there. He's listed the winners in the past. So I'll read them out. The first 10, Zeus, Westbar's Spyrite, who won back to back. Then Owen, Jay Wheeler, Kurt CFC, Bocca Seniors, Bellatrix, La Spyrite, Carlos and last week's champion Eintracht Pilsley. So will we have a different winner tonight? Very random Spyrites question tonight. No particular theme. We had questions relating last week to the 10 seasons when the Spyrites have either won promotion or won a piece of silverware. But no particular theme tonight. So just a few minutes away from kick off and we reach the 140 mark let's see if we can break 150 soon for those of you joining us welcome 51 treble 2 is the pin code and then tap the screen so I shall return shortly
Well, kickoff is less than two minutes away now. In fact, make it around a minute away. Just comes up to nine minutes past eight. So we're nearly at 1.50. I've just been reading the messages again on the YouTube comments section. And Phil has given a clue there about next week. There will be a theme. But watch this space, but as it will be quiz number 12, any guesses? Well, I, uh, I've got an idea there, won't give it away. So, tonight's quiz, quiz number 11. And as I say, no particular theme. Do take a look at the comments section on YouTube. Phil looking after things there. I'm told we've got a couple of people who are, who are uh, based in London who are playing tonight. Not even Chesterfield fans, but uh, they enjoy or enjoyed, I think it was their first one, the family quiz, the fun family quiz on Sunday afternoon. They liked it so much they've decided to play tonight, but apparently no interest in Chesterfield, so that will be interesting. My advice to them is just guess as quickly as you can. Don't waste any time, because who knows? You may be able to pick up some very useful points by answering quickly. So, I make it 10 past now. We're just short. Well, in fact, we're just onto the 150 mark. So, we have reached 150, and it's now 10 past 8. So, I think uh, we'll get underway. Just one final call if you've just joined us. The pin code there 5132. And then if you tap the screen to make sure you are registered to play in tonight's quiz. So I'll give a moment just for any latecomers, 5122, tap the screen and you'll be registered to play tonight's Spy Rights quiz. 152 as we get underway. So, okay, let's uh, take a look with question one. Which was the first professional club of former Sparite Gus Uhlenbeek? Was it Ajax, Feyenoord, Royal Antwerp, or Circle Bruges? Bruges. I think Circle, Circle Bruges. So, answer as quickly as you can. The first professional club of former. Sparite, Gus Ullenbeek, Ajax, Feyenoord, Royal Antwerp, or Sir Clay Bruges. See the time there, 15 seconds left. Most people answered so far. Time is running out. And the answer is Ajax. So how many people put Ajax? The third most popular answer is only 34 again. All right, Feyenoord with 65. So let's take a look at the leaderboard for the first time. So Liam starts off with 30 points. Maximum Moondog in second place. Reggie for POTY. What's a boss? Uh, Mattisfield Town, Captain America, Samba Skills, Gazman, Dunk, and Jailbird. Let's take a look further down. Didn't take a look at the very start to see who's playing. Some newcomers I see there, unless they're going under different names, of course. People catch you out with their ever changing names. Whether we have Dave Waller here, I know we've got Ooh Waller Waller, that's the Dave Waller Tribute Act. I don't know if the real thing is with us. Still desperate for a haircut, aren't we all? Bushy Tails, I'm guessing, is the one from down south who's making their debut in the Spy Rights Quiz, so welcome to you. Can you see yourself? Well, I'm not going to read everybody out. We'll be here all night. 
you might see yourself on there. So let's move on with question two. Which player formerly of Portsmouth played a couple of games as a trialist for Chessfield in 2003? Was it John Finch, Luke Nightingale, Jamie Crane or Nick Swift? Remember, don't jump the gun or if you have done, make sure you press again. Need that message to say that your answer has been registered. Because of the time delay over the internet, some people I think might go a little early, so just make sure that your answer has been registered. So, 15 seconds left. John Finch, Luke Nightingale, Jamie Crane or Nick Swift played a couple of games on trial for the Spyrites in 2003. The time running out rapidly. And the answer, Luke Nightingale played against Doncaster and Alfreton before signing for South End. So how many people put B, Luke Nightingale? Second most popular answer after Jamie Crane. So uh, Phil's selection of bird names catching quite a few people out. Let's take a look. Liam's still at the top though. Virtually maximum points, 59. Moondog there. In second still, Samba Skills in third. What's a Bass, Jinty, Gazman, Benno Spire, PK, KC73 and Emma Tooley. That's the top ten. So let's move on. What is Jamie Winter trying to do here? Look at the photo. Is he finding out the Ryder Cup scores in the K Club? Finding out the score of the Old Firm match? Finding out who Chestfield had drawn in the LDV Vans Trophy? Or finding out the score in the Manchester Derby? So, some quite wordy answers there, so I'll not read them all out yet, but make sure that if you have jumped the gun, make sure you press again to lock in your answer. We're trying to work out what Jamie Winter is doing in that photo. Basically looking for Ryder Cup score, result of the Old Firm match. Finding out the LDV Trans Vans Trophy opponents for the Spa Rights, or... An interest in the Manchester Derby. Time running out. And the answer is finding out the score. The old firm match. Jamie and Peter Levin, huge Rangers fans, and they beat Celtic 3 0 in the lunchtime kickoff. So B was the answer. Uh, fairly even spread there, but the most popular answer with 56. So is Liam still our leader? No, we have a new leader. What's a boss? So, Samba Skills in second. Isolated grandparents. Emma Tooley doing well in fourth place. And there we see him. Barusha Pilsley. The winner as Eintracht Pilsley last week. Pretty sure it'll be the same person. Liam dropping down to six. M145. Then Moondog. T392. And then Dunk. Let's take a look a little further down. Jay Wheeler in 12th. Former winner. Can we spot any other former winners? Oh, Edge's there on the front page. Welcome to Zoe and family. So, don't think that's the Kurt who was the winner because it was Kurt CFC. What else do we have? Just quickly scanning the names. I don't see any other winners at the moment. Might be missing them. I'll uh, move on with the next question. Question four. In 2011-12, uh, the JPT match at Preston won by Chessfield 40 on penalties after one all draw. Who converted the decisive winning penalty? Was it Alex Mendy, Craig Westcar, Danny Whitaker, or Leon Clark? So the scorer of the decisive penalty in the 4-2 shootout win at Preston in 2011-12, Alex Mendy, Craig Westcar, Danny Whitaker, or Leon Clark. Fifteen seconds left. Time running out. And the answer, Alex 
Mendy, Graham Alexander and Paul Coots both failed to score for Preston, as did Craig Westcar for the Spyrite. So how many people put A, Alex Mendy? Second most popular answer, but 64 going for Danny Whitaker. That could have changed things at the top. So what's a boss was the leader going into that question and still at the top ahead of Moondog who goes back up to second place. T3 92 in third. Samba skills. Jay Wheeler there, former winner in fifth place. And Matuli still going well in sixth. Gazman, the backheaders, isolated grandparents. And Lee who uh, did well, I think it was in the first quiz, may well have finished third from memory. Barusha Pilsley. We're guessing is last week's winner in a different guise. It was Eintracht Pilsley last week. So we'll move on with question five. Which former Sparrow scored Salford City's first ever goal in the Football League? Was it Adam Rooney, Scott Wiseman, Jake Beasley or Manny Diarosway? So the first ever goal for Salford in the Football League, Adam Rooney, Scott Wiseman, Jake Beasley or Manny Diaz Diaz <laughs> I can usually say that. Diaz Aruvway, that's it. Manny Diaz Aruvway. Couldn't guess I was a broadcaster. Um so <laughs> around 15 seconds left. The which former Spyrite who went into the record books as the first goal scorer in the Football League for Salford. City. And it is our friend Manny, as I'll call him. <laughs> I'm going to try that again. Manny Dieza Ruvway scored both goals in a 2 0 win over Stevenage. Salford's third and fourth league goals were also scored by an expirate Beasley. So, how many people put D? Most popular answer was 63. So, is the leadership still unchanged? What's a Bass is still the leader. T392 up to second place. Then Moondog in third. Samba Skills and Jay Wheeler. That's the top five. And just coming on to that. First page, Bucko44. Welcome to you, Bucko. So who is this? Pictured having just signed for the Spyrites in 2010. Michael Standing, Frankie Artis, Andrew, Andrew Wing or TJ Moncur. So look at the photo and tell us who it is. Pictured after signing for the Spirates in 2010, Michael Standing, Frankie Artis, Andrew Wing or TJ Moncur. Fifteen seconds left. And the answer is TJ Moncur, signed from Wickham Wanderers, but didn't make a first team appearance. So D, the answer we're looking for. And the least popular answer, look at that graph there, gradually going down. 47 going for Michael Standing, and 41 Frankie Artis, 38 Andrew Wing. Poor TJ Moncur, only getting 29 people who remember him. So that could be interesting at the top. Let's take a look. T392 is a new leader. One point ahead of the former leader, What's a Bass? And then Moondog in third place. Further down the back headers, Samba Skills, Jay Wheeler, Sammy, Liam, Princess Zoe, and last week's winner, Barusha Pilsley. We're assuming it's the same one. Okay, on we go with. Question 7. John Pemberton's first ever senior goal came in an 85 Milk Cup tie when he was playing for Crewe against Watford. Who also scored in that game? Was it John Barnes, Dave Waller, David Platt or Luther Blissett? They were looking for the scorer in the game when... Another scorer in the game when uh, John Pemberton scored his first ever senior goal. That was while playing for Crewe against Watford. Either John Barnes, our own Dave Waller, David Platt... Or Luther Blissett. Three of those, of course, played for England. 
The other is Dave Waller. Ten seconds left. And the answer is John Barnes. Crew lost the second leg 3-2. Waller scored in the first leg. Well, if Dave is playing, did he get that right? Hopefully he remembered it. So let's take a look. John Barnes, A. Well, the least popular answer, narrowly, from uh, Luther Blissett, but 57 going for David Platt and 37 for Dave Waller. So has leadership changed once again? What's a boss returns to the top, fractionally ahead of Moondog. Must be just on time. A fraction quicker overall than Moondog. T392 with a brief spell at the top, now in third place. And the back headers, Rico, Samba Skills, Lee, M145, Jay Wheeler and Sammy. That's the top 10. Edges doing well in 12th place. And Barusha Pilsley in 16th. And good to see SC Spyrak Harry from down on the south coast in 22nd place. So Nathan Tyson's three goals in the 4-0 win over Ebb's fleet in February came in which minutes? 44, 57, 81, 48, 51, 85, 60, 77 and 83 or 70, 73 and 88. Need a breather after that. So I suggest you just look at the figures on the screen. And we're looking for the times of Nathan Tyson's goals when he got a hat trick in the game against Ebb's fleet in February. So, A, B, C, or D. Do you remember the times of his goals? An interesting question. How many people are going to be able to answer that? Ten seconds left. And the answer is C. Curtis Weston scored the fourth goal in the last minute in that game. So, C is the answer. And the most popular answer there, 89. So, uh, yeah, plenty of people getting that right. Let's take a look. Leaderboard. What's a bar? Still the leader. Two points ahead now of Moondog. So increasing his lead by a single point. T3, 92. The back head of Samba Skills. Lee, Jay Wheeler, Sammy, Edges and Liam in the top 10. Is that the first time the Edges have been in the top 10? Well, we've been doing the quiz. Okay, on with question nine. Where are Chessfield playing in this image? AFC Fylde, Boreham Wood, Maidenhead or Bromley? So look at the image and work out where the Spyrites are playing. Nice, easy question to ask that one. Gives me a chance to uh, get a quick drink. It's water before anybody asks. And 15 seconds left. So over 150 people have answered. And the answer, Boreham Wood. So Boreham Wood, the answer. That was a two or draw last August. So 79 of you guess, guessing that right. 30 going for Fylde, 29 for Bromley, and 24 Maidenhead. So is Watts a Bass still our leader? Yes, by two points from Moondog, who's uh, really putting them under pressure. Just two points away. And then T392, who briefly held the lead. And the back header, Samba Skills, Jay Wheeler, Sammy, Liam... Salford Spyrite and then LSE and just quickly taking a, a look at a text from well I call him the Dave Waller Tribute Act it says looks like gin and tonic from here not water now I can guarantee water from the bottle the gin and tonic will be later and of course it's going to be a Derbyshire distillery gin and tonic of course so on we go with question 10 look at the clues coming up and answer from that list 
series of clues. Don't wait until the end. As soon as you know, look at the clues on the screen. Either Jeff Salmon's Len Badger, Billy Dearden or John Matthews. And then one final clue. Oh, and it's sadly... Uh, that's the wrong question. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. That was a... Uh, uh, yes. Oh, dear. So, uh, yeah, that's... Unfortunately, that's... I, I thought I'd check those earlier and... That's not come up as the right question, so let's move on with only three players have ever made their debuts against Cambridge uh, for Chesterfield, John Vaughan, Thomas Hitzelsberger and Giles Coke. In total, how many first-team games did they play for the Sparites? 12, 15, 18 or 21? So those players who've made the debut for the Sparites against Cambridge, John Vaughan, Thomas Hitzelsberger and Giles Coke. In total, how many first team games did they play for the Spyrites? 12, 15, 18 or 21? So that's 12, is the answer Vaughan 4, Hitzelsberger 6, and Coke 2. So how we're we looking on the... The Moondog is at the top. Apologies, folks. Got the gremlins in the system with the answers there so let's take a look which of these players is the odd one out so take a look there and pick a b c or d we're looking at the photo and then picking the odd one out Fifteen seconds left. And the answer is D. That's Ryan Fulton. All the others have played for Accrington Stanley. It's Gary Roberts, Romy Bocco, and Aaron Chapman. So how many people put D? 47. Getting that right. Most popular answer. Let's take a look. Moondog just a point ahead of T392. And then what's a Bars in third place? On we go with question 13. Midfielder Angel Martinez was out of the Chesterfield team through injury from August 2015 to February 2017. For which team did he make his comeback appearance against as a 65th minute sub? Was it Oldham, Oxford, Shrewsbury or Rochdale? So Angel Martinez, his comeback game. And who is it against Oldham, Oxford, Shrewsbury or Rochdale? And the answer, Oldham. Game that also saw Anthony Gerrard sent off during the interval after a clash with Ian Everett. So how many people put Oldham? 35. So let's take a look. Moondog 
still at the top. T3, 92, was second place. What's a Bass in third? Backheaders fourth and Jay Wheeler in fifth. So three of these players made more appearances as Chessfield substitute than as a starter in National League games in 2019-20. Which one started more times than being used as a playing sub? Was it Jermaine McGlashan, Robbie Weir, Jamie Sharman or Jack Mackay? And the answer is Jamie Sharman. Two starts, one sub on oh, McGlashan, six plus eight. We are nine plus ten and Mackay five plus nine. So C. 36 getting that right. So how's that affected things? Moondog level with T392. But just ahead on time, the back headers in third, What's a Bass in fourth, and Powers Blues in fifth place. Jay Wheeler, former winner, then Ben Smith, LSE and Samba Skills. And then on we go. So we have question 15. These players are all involved in the squad for the first ever game at the B2Net Stadium against Derby, but only one of them completed 90 minutes in a competitive game for Chesterfield at New Ground. Which one? Is it A, B, C or D? So only one of them completing 90 minutes in a competitive game for Chesterfield at New Ground. And 15 seconds left. And it was A, Dan Gray. Won 90 minutes, 4-3 win over Shrewsbury in October 2010. His last appearance for the Sparites. Rob Page started against Middlesbrough, was subbed. He was also a playing sub. Shane Redmond and Jimmy Adcock didn't play any games for Chesterfield. So A, the right one. And most going for B. So how many, well, how does it affect things at the top? Moondog still there over T392. And then the back headers in third place. Question 16. Dan Gardner scored on his Sparrow's debut after signing from FC Halifax Town just seven minutes after coming on as a sub. For Gary Roberts against which team? Northampton Town, Bury, Cheltenham Town or Colchester United? So we're looking for... Dan Gardner's debut goal against Northampton, Bury, Cheltenham or Colchester. And it's Bury, the fourth goal in a 4-0 win in January 2014. So let's take a look. How many got Bury for B? And 54, if you're getting that right, is Moondog. Still the top T3, 92 is there, head of Moondog, and then Watts, a Bass, Powers Blues, and the back headers. We've not had to look further down the table for, for uh, quite a while. So, Borussia Pilsley isn't going to repeat their win from last week, 37th place. Bushy Tails, I'm guessing the debutants from London. 
in 44th, so to say that they're not Chesterfield fans are doing very well. Look further down, can you see yourself? So Zoe's uncle not doing as well as Edges. Oh, and there we are, the real Walla Walla. He is with us in 80th place. Welcome, Dave. And Bucko 44 has dropped down to 100th place after doing well. It was on the first page earlier on. Scott Bowden. Is it the real Scott Bowden? 117th. Perhaps you can message me, Scott, if it is you. I was threatening to play at one point. Further down we go. Okay, so we're on to question 17. Which of these players made most starts in the Football League for Chesterfield? Ollie Banks, Tom Anderson, Christian Dennis or Gary Roberts? So a player who made the most starts in the Football League for Chesterfield, Ollie Banks, Tom Anderson, Christian Dennis or Gary Roberts? And the answer, Gary Roberts, 69 starts, Dennis 64, Banks 58, and Anderson 52. So how many people put Gary Roberts way out in front? With 80 people going for Gary Roberts. So does that change things at the top? Moondog is there ahead of T392. And then Watts, a Bass in third. Rest of the top 10, Powers Blue, Samba Skills, the back headers, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Denton, LS Ian, Kevin Wag, and Reggie for POTY. So, question 18, which of these former Sparites is the son of a professional boxer who had a record of 30 wins and one draw in a 52 fight career? So look at the photo and pick A, B, C or D. And 10 seconds left. The answer is B, Peter Till, father Peter. Boxers are lightweight from 85-96, winning Midlands area lightweight. Other players, Gary Medine, Barry Conlon and Martin Gritton. So how many people put B? Third most popular, so... Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Moondog is still there at the top. T392 and then Watts A bar. So just consulted with Phil, the question compiler. So we had an issue with the earlier video. So we'll have that. We'll have another video in the question 20. What we'll do is if if that's wrong, I'm hoping that it's going to be the right way around, but if it's not a correct question we'll go with the result after the last the penultimate question so the next question is the penultimate one question 19 so only if the last question is uh, incorrect so otherwise if everything goes to plan and it works properly then we'll uh, obviously take the winner after question 20 but if the video is incorrect on question 20 we'll go with the standings after question 19 that only seems fair so let's take a look at the penultimate one who was the first former sparite to appear in a league match at the b2net stadium barry roach lewis montrose janos kovacs or phil picken 
first former Sparrite to appear in a league match at the B2 Net Stadium. Barry Roach, Louis Montrose, Janos Kovacs, or Phil Picken? So 10 seconds left. Janos Kovacs for Hereford in August 2010, a 4-0 Spyrites win. So let's take a look. And second most popular answer, most going for Barry Roach. Phil Picken also 24 people going for him. Lewis Montrose 19. So let's take a look at the leaderboard going into the last question. So we have Moondog at the top. Then we have T392 and Powers Blue in third place. So we go into the final question. We're just hoping the video has been loaded correctly so let's take a look at the final question in tonight's quiz look at the clues who am i so greg pierce michael simpkins chris bettany or kevin davis look at the clues on the screen don't leave it till the end So all the clues now come up. Quickly get in your answer if you've not already done so. And the answer, Kevin Davis. So how many people put Kevin Davis? So 118 getting that right. 12 going for Chris Bettany. 10 for Greg Pierce. And 7 for Michael Simpkins. So... Uh, it was the right video, fortunately. So now we have our winner. We're going to have a new winner, unless it's somebody under a different guise. Let's uh, take a look at the final standings. So the top three we'll take a look at first. So in third place, going into the final question was Powers Blue, who's finished third. T392 in third place. In second place, Powers Blue moves up a place. So tonight's winner is Moondog. So well done to Moondog, the winner of tonight's Spyrites quiz. Well done to you. LS Ian, fourth, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dented. What's a Bass, who was leader for a while. The backheaders, Jay Wheeler, S. Watty, Samba Skills. Bellatrix, Laspirite, ONCFC, SC Spirite, Harry, Kevin Wang, Reggie 4, POTY, Mattisfield Town, Liam, Ben Smith, Big DH, Dig, Big DBH2 in 19th, and then down and out in 20, just outside, Emma Tooley, and then look further down, Borussia Pilsley, we're guessing it was last week's winner under different guys. And still we go. Not read everybody out, but as always, there is a chance to look back at the video on our YouTube channel. Edges there. Bushy Tales, if it is you from down south. Hope you've enjoyed the quiz on your debut. Boca Seniors, former winner. The Walla Walla. And still we go. Just quickly go through those. Might not see yourself, but as I say, you will be able to take a look on the YouTube channel. So we're past the 100 mark. So we've had over 150 people actively taking part tonight. Apologies once again for the misloaded video from earlier. I'll sack the technician. So, 
congratulations once again to our winner, Moondog, who wins a £10 voucher to spend in the Club Super Source. So, Moondog, if you can email us your photo of your uh, keypad screen, either a screenshot or a photo there, and send that to us at the media at address of the club. So we had 165, I'm guessing a few of those at the bottom struggled to get on board. So congratulations once again to Moondog. Also well done to Powers Blue and T392. Just a reminder before we go about Saturday's uh, quiz for kids, Chester's quiz from 11 a.m. And then also we have the fun family quiz from 5 p.m. on Sunday. So please do join us for that if you can. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, whether it's your first time tonight or whether you are a regular competitor. I guess we'll keep going as long as it's clear that people want us. If uh, the numbers start dropping off sharply and people have got other things to do as lockdown eases, then we'll uh, probably end the uh, Spy Rights quiz and perhaps bring that periodically. But as long as uh, the numbers are there, then we'll do it. And uh, thanks once again to Phil Tooley for providing the questions for tonight. Also thanks to uh, Tina Jenner, some of her photos used in the quiz tonight. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to join us again for another quiz. In the meantime, stay safe and stay alert.